now in case of inequality see we can take square if both sides are positive so if 5 is greater than 3 we can say 25 greater than 9 right in case both sides are negative say minus 5 less than minus 3 then we can take square but we need to change the sign of the inequality so if I take square this minus 5 becomes 25 and minus 3 square becomes 9 so if I don't change the sign of the inequality if I put this sign then this is wrong this inequality is wrong so I need to change the sign of the inequality when I am taking square in case of both the numbers are negative now let's let me take a case where one number is positive and other number is negative like 5 greater than minus 3 now in this case we cannot take square right we cannot take square and right so if you take in this case if you take square then equality holds true right but if I have this case 3 greater than minus 5 and I take square then I need to change the sign of the inequality so this is wrong right and in the previous case when I take square this is fine so in case one side is positive other is negative we have no idea whether we should take square or not right so we cannot take square if one one number is positive and other is negative now let's let's check this case in example 7 I'll start from this step root of a minus 1 whole square plus 4 greater than 5 minus a now I need to make two cases I first case is if a is greater than equal to 5 now for this case right hand side is negative and left hand side is positive square root so it is always positive we cannot take square because right hand side is negative left hand side is positive and we need not take s do anything to this because if left hand side is positive and right hand side is negative then for all values of a which are more than greater than equals to 5 inequality holds good inequality is true so solution is a belongs to 5 to infinity all values of a from 5 and more than 5 will satisfy this now if in case a is less than 5 left hand side is positive right hand side is also positive as both the sides are positive we can take square to solve the inequality right and if you on simplifying this we'll get a greater than 5 by 2 so solution set is all the values of a which are more than 5 by 2 but less than 5 will satisfy this inequality now we can combine second solution and first solution so the values a can take are like so we'll combine these solutions 5 from a belongs to 5 to infinity and 5 by 2 5 so answer is a belongs to 5 by 2 to infinity